You have that on audio? guys rolling? Oh, you're rolling, eh? Oh, jeez. Okay, a uh, good day and welcome. Oh, do that. You can't imagine what it's like living with that, eh? Wait, that's only half of it, eh? I think you would have changed it, eh? Okay, good you day. You want to hear a different one? I could give you a different yeah, one. Yeah, give me a different one. S sort of more, a more contemporary version? Well, it is like a new millennium. <laughs> oh, don't go into that. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, Good day and welcome to our show, wait, eh? Wait, wait, wait. What? I don't know if... if you got to wait for the audio guy. He doesn't wait. know because he's got earmuffs on, eh? He doesn't know anything about audio. What? I have to... I'm in charge of all audio. Good day, I'm Doug McKenzie. This is my brother, Bob, the know-it-all. How's it going, eh? How's it going? Notice you can hear me well because the audio is working. <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk about Red Cap Ale, eh? Yeah, it's from the Brick Brewing Company. You'll notice we got it on, all over, eh? That's our beer, and... They've th come out with these stubbies. Well, they always had these stubbies, eh? Yeah, I know, but for like... A year, for a, a long time, since they got red capped, they reintroduced the stubby, eh? But the rest of the brewer, brewing companies have got the long necks, eh? Oh, they're, yeah, they're no good, eh? They're keep, dangerous. I keep hitting my forehead, and one time I hit my eye trying to drink one of those. Anyway, this is the only Canadian stubby you can get, eh? Red cap, though I, they should call it red toque. Because you can't keep your, your ears It does warm. look kind of like a toque, eh? Well, if it has ear flaps under there, maybe. Hey, got... remember the old song, Snap a Cap a Red Cap? Oh, yeah, eh? Snap a Cap a Red Cap. Snap a Cap? Anyway, a so cap. get your stubbies, it's get your red caps, Snap a Cap a Red Cap. It's great taste in beer, and I drink my beers in order. Sometimes I open a couple, but I always drink them in order. Mm. Good day, eh? Good day. Okay, we got a special guest. We don't usually have people on our, That's our right. show here, but this, this is This guy deserves to be on our show. Yeah, hey, come on in, hey. Come on in, Giddy. Happy two for two, you. Giddy, hey. <laughs> Happy two for two, you. Here Giddy. you go, guys. Giddy Lee, hey. With a donut cake. Where'd you get that? That's beauty, eh? Well, I made it myself, eh? Wow, you're talented. Pull up a cooler. I'm lying. How you been, eh? Improvising. I've been great. Nice to see you, Nice to see you. Jeez, how's it going? Jeez, you guys haven't changed at all. You too, eh? Thanks. We literally haven't changed. This is really nice. So, what have you been doing for 24 years, eh? Well, you know, I've been out there on the road trying to make a good, hard Canadian living. Oh, good for you, eh? Yep. Is it hard? Uh, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. But it's good. Getting old sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I hate that. Yeah, me too, man. Hope you don't mind. What's the secret of your longevity? Our longevity? Yeah. Um, Doing nothing. Organ replacement. Very good. You wouldn't know about that. You got you a number for guitars. me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hope you don't mind. I took the liberty of preparing a few interview questions, okay? Shoot, I'm I, ready. I did okay. some research in motion on my, uh, okay. on my thing here. So, uh, Thanks. these are in no particular order except the order that I thought them up in. Okay. Okay? I understand. First one is, um, what's the dumbest question you've ever been asked? Oh, geez. Uh, maybe just that one right there, eh? Okay. I noticed that you're able to um, both play your um, instrument and sing at the same time. Um, multitasking. Um, That's true. How do you do that? Because, like... I was just looking at the question. I couldn't hear what you guys were saying because I can't. <laughs> okay. Well, first I drink a 2-4. Ooh, really? And I'm ambidextrous, so I can do that. Uh, both those things at the same time. So a 12 on each side. That's right. That means he can stay underwater for a long time, moron. <laughs> ambidextrous. Wow. I know he didn't know what it meant, eh? Okay. Um, I guess the only thing I'd like to ask... Again, is what's the dumbest question? Oh, I already asked that one. Um, Why don't you ask this more on a question? Watch him <laughs> pry. <laughs> That'd be great. Hey, I got a question. What's the dumbest question you ever been asked? Yeah, watch. Look at his stare now. His dumb oh, stare. I, I don't multitask. I was busy <laughs> reading my questions, eh? Yeah. Well, you figured out how to use that. That's something. It takes him forever to get anything on that. Like, I'll phone him, eh? And, like, it'll take him forever to pick it up. 
That's why I didn't get one of those. They're too complicated. I just got sell them. No, no, I'm, wow. I'm, I'm good with this. Anyway, those are our questions. Thanks for the donut cake. Getty Lee, 2-4 anniversary. Oh, You're going to stay here and help us eat it? Sure, of course. All right. Good day. Cheers. Good day. It doesn't say. It's our 24th day. People sent us stuff. They're fake. Good. I no, opened a couple of them. Nobody sent us nothing, eh? Why, are they fake? Yeah, they're fake presents, eh? There was perfume in one of those boxes. Really? I figured that was for you, because they sent you some perfume. Ooh, geez, this is a real telegram, eh? From Arnold Schwarzenegger, eh? Get out. Yeah. I'm going to do it as him, okay? Go ahead. Yeah. Good morning. Hi, yeah. Happy birthday on your 24th anniversary. I'm very happy. I want to ask you a question about Canada. Can a guy from another country be elected prime minister there? Jeez, eh? How's it going, eh? <laughs> That's my first nation about. That's him. what you get from watching Terminator 4,000 times. Eh? I couldn't believe he became, like, governor, eh? He's Terminator. Okay, I got a theory about that, and that is that all the guys from the movie Predator are going to become governors. So far, Jesse Ventura has become governor. He was in Predator, and now uh, Arnold is governor. And he was in Predator. Who's left, eh? Uh, Carl Weathers. He's going to become president or uh, governor of some city. He's from New Orleans. I bet you he'd become governor of New Orleans because they need a governor after Katrina, you know? Eh? That's what I think. Okay, check back in another 24 years, and we'll see if Carl Weathers became the governor of New Orleans. Or no, what state is that? That's Louisiana. He'll be the governor of Louisiana. Or he may be mayor of New Orleans. Boy, you're, what? you're making good predictions, eh? Hey, I'm just going by the past. The key to making predictions is you look what's happened in the past. What's happened in the past is Arnold and Jesse Ventura, Carl Weathers, he's moving up the line, eh? Well, then maybe New Orleans will get a hockey team. I hope not. Hey, this, is, this show is like three topics. This show is probably like a special. Okay. Is this a topic? Yeah. Okay, go. Okay, I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going, eh? Oh, very important to remember, do not drink and drive. Oh, jeez. And if you come... Do not drink and sit, either. If you come across anybody that's going to drink and drive, get a designated driver. It would also work with a putter or a wedge. But get a designated driver and hit that person as hard as you can over the head. I better not do it, eh? Were you going to test that on me and yeah. knock me out? Yeah, but this is only, you're not wearing your helmet toque, you're wearing your regular toque, eh? You know what I thought you were doing there? I thought there was like a chip had shot up into my, like, uh, earmuff clip and you were taking it. I was getting mad. No way, eh? I wouldn't do that. That's not what with I thought. Driver. I'd use a nine iron for that. Okay, good day. Okay, so we're all set to go here. We got uh, back bacon going. Mm -hmm. It's low fat. And uh, we got the stove all hot, which is the origin of the hot stove. We, le we only eat all natural stuff now, eh? And I got my handheld here, my Blackberry. Whoa, whoa. And I got my Beerberry. What? I got my cell phone, too. So uh, anything you want to know, on. I can get here. It's uh, this Canadian, eh? RIM Research in Motion. Canadian yeah. geniuses, eh? Okay, so... Hey, hold on one sec, eh? What? I just want to take a picture of you, eh? Oh. Beauty. Look. Look how scared you look. Jeez, that's a bad picture. And that's yeah. not even in high def. So anyway, that's our show. Thanks for joining us. See you in another 24 years. Good day. Good day and welcome to a special section of our show. We're on? Yeah, we're on. Oh. Mackenzie Brothers Debates. Today's debate, which is better, a computer or a toboggan? Taking the uh, position of defending the computer is my dumb brother, Bob. I will, of course, be defending the toboggan, the, one of the great wonders of the world invented in Canada. Okay, you have like 10 seconds to make your point on computers. Okay, computers are really valuable. Um, and even if they break, you can always uh, go to the top of a hill and get on it and slide down the hill. That's okay. A toboggan can travel so fast, like way faster than DSL, 
and to have a toboggan, you can basically scream down a hill. It's exciting. It's not virtual reality. It's like real reality, eh? That's what counts. So toboggans are way better than computers, and in my opinion, I have defeated my brother. Okay, I, I concede, eh? Toboggans win better than computers. Okay, good day. Stop eating my chips. Hey, I'm rewarding myself for winning, eh? Welcome to the end of our show, eh? And the next show we're going to do is in 24 years. So that'll be in the year... I don't know. <laughs> Add it up. I don't know either. But a long time from now, eh? Like 24 years from now. I don't know what the date will be, but consult your local calendar. In the meantime, we're out of here, eh? We got stuff to do. We're busy guys. We got beers to drink, TV to watch. Good day.